Well, Ian, a handful. First up, the governor's office, then the city of Birmingham, Jefferson County, the BJCC, and Live Nation must kick in their share. If all goes through, top music artists from across the country could be pumping out tunes from right here in the next two years. It'll be a cool view. You'll have the skyline, you'll be able to see Vulcan, and you'll be able to see the new lights from the interstate. So Hunter Williams is visualizing Birmingham's future music mecca. A $50 million amphitheater near the former Caraway Hospital is now coming into view. A year ago, this site looked a little bit different. Hopefully next year it will look completely different uh, in that it will be a viable um, entertainment area. All in favor? Uh, right this morning, the Convention and Visitors Bureau agreed to kick in its Weston and Sheraton Hotel revenue for the project. It's enhancing our destination. It yeah. is making us more attractive um, when it comes to people visiting. That leaves a $3 million state grant plus $5 million each from the city, the county, and the BJCC. This was an important threshold to get over because if we weren't able to, uh, you know, kind of partner together and, and reach what we did today, the others, you know, wouldn't have needed to occur. Live Nation is also expected to throw in another $5 million and manage the upscale venue after leaving the Oak Mountain Amphitheater in Pelham. It puts us on the music scene map where shows will not, no longer bypass Birmingham and the state of Alabama, uh, but we will be a viable option from Atlanta to Birmingham to Nashville, uh, where, where otherwise we simply would not be. Adding to downtown and North Birmingham's continued entertainment revival. All right, so John, uh, when we look at this project, any idea if everything kind of moves ahead when we could see bulldozers and and groundbreaking out there? Yeah, and if the funding is approved by all the parties involved over the next couple of weeks, Tad Snyder with the BJCC tells me they plan to go to the bond market as soon as possible to avoid the interest rates going up even further. And once that is done, if it is done soon enough, he expects construction to begin between next spring and summer. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.